In this tutorial, we'll take a look at hair particles and vertex groups. And this is a really powerful combination. In fact, vertex groups are used extensively throughout Blender. So make them your friend and be, you know, use them a lot because they really help you out. And I'll show you what I mean. So I have just a simple rectangle object in here. And in, to it, I've added a particle system. And it's a hair particle. Well, I'll just close it and then we'll start it from scratch. That's why I like it so you can see it. So I'm in here. I add the, I change this over to hair, and notice it's just straight particles out from here. But what I want is two things. I want to use hair dynamics like that. And when I use hair dynamics, that allows the particles to move. So if I press Alt A, then they move like that. And if I grab this at the same time and move it around, they're dynamic like that. All right. So without dynamic, that won't happen. Now you notice they're all the same length now, though in here. So what I'm doing, in, what I want to do is, I want to be able to change the length because, I mean, look at the hair on your head. It's not all the same length. Nobody's hair is the same that way. Doesn't have it specifically cut that way. And so what you need to do is you need the vertex groups in order to affect the length of the hair and other things as well. So let's go into the vertex groups, and I have these individual groups set here like this. And maybe the, I'll probably start this from scratch also, but I'll go into edit mode and this one is selected. Let me see if I can deselect that. All right, I'll deselect it. But if I go press hair zero, hair zero is a vertex group that I made only for this face. And if I select it, only that one shows up. If I deselect it, it doesn't show up. Hair 0.25 is a group that I made for this face. And if I select that, it, it highlights and if I deselect it like this. So I'm going to just do this just to keep it s more logical. I'm going to I'm going to delete these and show you from scratch. So here I'm in edit mode. I'm in face select. The way I would do it, I would r right click this and select this face only. And then I would click this and get a new group. And I would come down here and call that, you know, hair zero. I'll call it like this. And then the reason I call it zero is because that's the value that I want to give to that vertex group. So I'm going to make it a zero here, and then I have to assign it. Remember, in edit mode, you have to assign the vertex group. And so that's associated with that. So now I can deselect it, and now it's not active. All right, I'm going to make another group. I'm going to call it hair.25, like this. And I'm going to use that as the group, and I'm going to get a weight of 0.25. That's how I know what it is. And I'm going to assign that. All right, now I'm going to deselect that one. I'm going to get another one, and another one, and another one. I'll get three more. I'll call this one hair, hair point six. Did I see that? Point six. Point, point six. And I'm going to call this one hair, I'll just call that hair one. And I'm going to call this all hair. All right, I just gave them names first. So now up here in the hair 0.6, I'll make this one 0.6 all by itself. So add that and assign it. And then I'll deselect that one. I'll go over to here. I can, I'll make this one value hair one is the value of one. And I'll assign that. Okay. And then I could deselect it just by clicking up here. But the value of having these in groups like this is that I can pick which ones I want. I could say deselect this one here. Maybe I only want to look at these two vertex groups like this or change them. I could just select that and press select and then press that and then select. Oops, hang on. Press that and say select and then press that and say select. So now I've picked those. So it allows me to pick which vertex groups in my model that I would either want to modify or do whatever with. All right, now so for this last one down here, let's actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them all for this last thing all, and I'm going to give them all a weight of 0.5. All right, so they all, ha and I'm going to assign it. So they all have that weight. All right, so now when I leave edit mode, then I'm in here, and I go back into the hair particle area. If I run just regular all day, they're all the same size like that. But then I come down here to the vertex group 
for instead of changing the length here under the emission come down to here under the vertex groups and in here pick the one you want so if I pick hair one for the vertex group hair one was associated with that last one there only and you see it's there and then it tapers off accordingly or if I just pick hair zero hair zero had a value of zero so there's nothing there hair 0.25 was this one and if I run that you see it's there and boo if I want them all I can just all hair I turn them all on like this and they run like that so they're all the same length but I didn't really want them all the same length I want to come back here to all hair and go into edit mode and then this one I'll make at say 0.1 and this one I'll make at 0.3 and assign that and this one 0.7 and assign that and that one at 1 and assign that okay obviously you know what's going on so there's my variation in hair length like that when I run it you can see how they change all right so practice the vertex groups because they're important especially when you have big models with a lot of vertices everywhere it really allows you to control the hair particles soft body physics I mean lots and lots of things all right well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson